And there came a time known as the third millennium, a time when the people of the earth were ravaged by disease, pestilence, and poisons, a time when the horsemen of the apocalypse ran the multinational corporations, a time when America's citizens were waking up to a future of no money and no jobs, a time when a special man came forward a man that your American taskmasters did not want you to see or hear. A man whom they took prisoner and hid away. A man whose name is Yahweh Ben Yahweh. For telling people the truth, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was taken prisoner by the minions of darkness. For giving people hope, Yahweh Ben Yahweh was led away to Golgotha. This is the continuing story of the past and of the future, about good and about evil, about your life and what it will become, a story that tells why the so-called black man of America had to suffer for over 400 years. A story of what will happen to the so-called black man if he returns to the laws, statutes, judgments, and commandments of God, you hey wav hey. Olam, Olam shall, shall you hey wav hey. hey. The, the universe, universe of, of you hey wav hey. 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 Brought to, Brought to you, you by, by the nation, nation of you, of you hey, 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 hey. Working for you and your future. Good or evil, life or death. This is your choice in this, the year 6002, the year of judgment. Shalom and welcome to the universe of Yahweh. My name is Josiah Israel, and I am your host. For over seven years now, we have been discussing some of the things the Bible said would occur in the Day of Judgment. We warned you that the weather was going to change and that the powerful forces of nature were going to bring terrible destruction upon America and the world, and that it was going to get worse and worse and worse, and it has. We alert you that violence in the public schools was going to increase, and it has. We showed you in the scriptures that forewarned of wickedness in high places, and we are witnessing today gross misconduct and serious crimes being committed by some of our highest elected officials. What lies ahead for America and the world is nothing less than the proliferation of deadly diseases and plagues as foretold in the Bible. But there is hope. The Bible tells us that at the end the Messiah would be revealed, and at that time he would save the righteous from this impending destruction. That one, the Messiah, is Yahweh ben Yahweh. So we invite you to join us in the universe of Yahweh, featuring the commandments of Yahweh and the Messiah revealed. First, the commandments of Yahweh. For 6,000 years, we have been suffering at the hands of rulers who transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh and teach all people throughout the earth to transgress the laws of yud heh wav -Heh. In order to have peace, love, and harmony upon the earth, we must return to keeping the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of yud heh wav -Heh. All of us have been taught that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do not count today. In this series, we will show you that the commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes in the Old Testament Bible do count, and that if we govern our lives according to these commandments, judgments, laws, and statutes of God yud heh wav -Heh, then we will have peace and goodwill upon the earth forever. We invite you to study along with us. However, 
In order to do so, you must have the following tools. A King James Version of the Bible, several dictionaries, the New Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, a set of encyclopedias, Hebrew and Greek lexicons, a thesaurus, and a synonym finder. Shalom. My name is Ben Kayo Bethel Yishraya. We are discussing the commandments of Yahweh. And more specifically, we are discussing the fact that the first direct commandment that Yahweh ever gave to man was given to Adam in the Garden of Eden, which was to dress it. Last week, we read Exodus chapter 31, verse 13, and learned that keeping the Sabbath of Yahweh is a sign between Yahweh and the children of Israel throughout our generations. We also learned that sign by definition means to communicate by means of a sign. The word sign is synonymous to token, and token is equivalent to indication, manifestation, testimony, proof, or expression. We told you that the observance or celebration of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh is a direct indication to Yahweh that we are remembering Him for the stunning beauty of all His work which he produced. Keeping the Sabbath is a direct manifestation to Yahweh that we are reflecting upon him for the startling and staggering symmetry of all that he designed and constructed. Moreover, celebrating the Sabbath is a testimony to Yahweh that we are honoring him for the amazing elegance and gracefulness of all that he formed and fashioned. Observing the Sabbath is proof to God, Yahweh, that we are esteeming him for the marvelous balance that he gave the universe. And even more, commemorating the Sabbath is an expression to Yahweh that we have our minds on him and are marveling over the incredible arrangement of all his work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made. We explained that dress, as it relates to keep, means that Yahweh commanded Adam, his descendants, and all the families of the earth to keep the Sabbath throughout all our generations as a sign to show that the Sabbath of Yahweh is a holy day unto us. Even more, we told you that this sign serves to show that we understand, realize, and recognize that Yahweh is God and that He has set us free from transgressing the law of the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh according to to solar time. Today, we will continue our discussion of dress with respect to observing the seventh day as the Sabbath of Yahweh. We have shared with you that Yahweh commanded Adam to keep the Sabbath and to teach the whole world that on the seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh, we are to give exclusive honor to Yahweh for all his work, his creation, which he, Yahweh, created and made. However, in order to give exclusive honor to Yahweh on the Sabbath day, we are commanded to make preparations for all of our personal needs for the Sabbath day beforehand, as referenced in Mark chapter 15, verse 42, which reads, and now, when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, the day before the Sabbath is a preparation day. Webster's Ninth New Collegiate Dictionary, copyright 1989, on page 929, 
defines preparation as the action or process of getting ready for some occasion. Adam, his descendants, and all the families of the earth were commanded to make themselves ready for the Sabbath of Yahweh the day before the Sabbath. The Synonym Finder by J.I. Rodale, copyright 1978, on page 991, tells us that the word ready is equivalent to organize. Webster's New World Dictionary, third college edition, copyright 1994, on page 954, defines organize as to make plans or arrange for. Since no work nor labor is to be done on the seventh day, Yahweh commanded Adam, his descendants, and all families of the earth to make plans or to arrange for all their personal needs for the seventh day to be prepared on the sixth day, according to Exodus chapter 16, verses 22 and 23, which reads in part, And it came to pass that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread. This is that which Yahweh hath said, Tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto Yahweh. Bake that which ye will bake today, and seeth that ye will seeth, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. We see here that on the sixth day we are to bake and seeth twice as much of that which we will eat, and that which remaineth over we are to lay up for ourselves to be kept until the morning, the seventh day. According to the Random House College Dictionary Revised Edition, copyright 1988, on page 102, bake is defined as to cook by dry heat in an oven, under coals, or on heated metals or stones. On page 1192, seeth is defined as to cook by boiling or simmering. Therefore, on the sixth day, we must prepare twice as much of any foods which require cooking by dry heat in an oven, under coals, or on heated metals or stones, and any cooking to be done by boiling or simmering. In addition, anything that needs to be gathered and prepared for our personal needs as clothing must be gathered and prepared in advance of the Sabbath so that on the seventh day, the Sabbath of Yahweh, Adam, his descendants, and all families of the earth can devote exclusive honor to Yahweh for all his marvelous work. His creation, which He, Yahweh, created and made. Next week, we shall continue to discuss the Sabbath and its relationship to dress. I bear witness to you today that the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Mahdi is here. I bear witness to you today that Shiloh is here. I bear witness to you today that the great light is here. I bear witness to you today that the Grand Master of the Celestial Lodge, Architect of the Universe, is here. I bear witness to you today that the Enlightened One is here. I bear witness to you today that the One all religions have been speaking of for almost 6,000 years is here. Thank you for listening, and join us next week as we continue our discussion of the commandments of Yahweh.
What does eternal life mean? Eternal life means life without end. It means forever. Not only during the time of one's natural life, but through endless ages of eternal life and blessedness. To find out more, read The Messiah Revealed by Yahweh ben Yahweh. To order, call us at 1-800-967-7337 or check out our new website and online bookstore at www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. What is the Tetragrammaton? What are the laws and teachings of Yahweh ben Yahweh? What is the meaning of the crucifixion? What are the laws of the covenant? How can you work to balance justice? How can you hear the voice of Yahweh? Learn the answers to these questions and many more on the internet when you visit the new Yahweh ben Yahweh website. The address is www.yahwehbenyahweh.com. Everyone is talking about the controversial new television miniseries, Judicial Murder. Let the evidence be heard. Oh yes, I believe everybody across the nation should see this. It's absolutely a conspiracy. These are the devastating facts which you were never, ever supposed to know. Every person, regardless of race, creed, or color, should see this program. Judicial Murder, Let the Evidence Be Heard, can be summed up in one word. Powerful. Phenomenal. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Shalom. Welcome to Exodus. Release our God to us. It was prophesied that when the Son of Man appears, there would be wars and rumors of wars, pestilence and disease, a time of great and terrible natural disasters. This is Judgment Day, and yud heh wav -Hey is plaguing and judging this world. His divine judgment is more relentless in America because this country is holding his son, yud heh wav -Hey, Beit nun Sophie yud heh wav -Hey, captive for crimes he did not commit and refuses to let him go. True judgment involves both discernment and action, and the two are inseparable. In judgment, a distinction is made between what is right and what is wrong. Then based on the findings, action is taken. The purpose of that action is to reprove or punish the person who is wrong and to vindicate the person who is right. America is suffering one awesome disaster after another. Some may say we have always had disasters, but today they are occurring more frequently and with greater intensity. The destruction is costing America tens of billions of dollars, weakening the spirit and the economy of this country. We hear over and over from the president that the economy is getting better than it ever has been. But why are people still losing their jobs? Why are we living from paycheck to paycheck? Jobs in America are closing down every day. Hundreds of factories have closed. Major plants are shutting down and moving offshore, taking thousands of jobs with them. In the first five months of 1996, American businesses cut 230,000 jobs. That's the fastest rate ever. Let us read Isaiah chapter 19, verse 15. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt which the head or tail, branch or rush, may do. Is it possible to end the unemployment problem in America? Of course it is. And yud heh wav heh, beit nun sofit yud heh wav heh, 
holds the key to how. However, until the release of Yud Hey Wav Hey Beit Nun Sophie Yud Hey Wav Hey, we will see more layoffs and more downsizing. And the present course of worldwide natural disasters shall continue to get worse and worse and worse. Shalom, and we'll see you next week on Exodus. Release our God to us. Who is worthy? Who is worthy to open the book? Who is worthy to open the book and loose the seals thereof? And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. At the end of time of evil rule, the Anointed One, the Messiah, shall appear. In 1979, Yahweh Ben Yahweh came to Miami and became the spiritual leader and founder of the nation of Yahweh. Although he took a vow of poverty, in seven years he guided the nation to amass a $250 million empire. Under his direction, the nation of Yahweh has grown to encompass disciples, followers, and supporters in over 1,300 cities within the U.S. and 16 foreign countries. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is bringing about changes in the lives of individuals and is giving the world the keys to success in life politically, economically, educationally, socially, and spiritually. Our King, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, is rejoicing in your strength, O Yahweh, and in your salvation, how greatly is he rejoicing. Yahweh is giving Yahweh ben Yahweh his heart's desire and is not withholding the request of his lips, Selah. For Yahweh preventeth Yahweh ben Yahweh with the blessings of goodness. He is setting a crown of gold on his head. Yahweh ben Yahweh is asking life of Yahweh, and Yahweh is giving it to him. Even length of days forever and ever. The glory of Yahweh is great in the salvation of Yahweh ben Yahweh. Yahweh is laying honor and majesty upon him. For Yahweh is making him the most blessed forever. Yahweh is making Yahweh bin Yahweh exceedingly glad with his countenance. For the king, Yahweh bin Yahweh, is trusting in Yahweh, and through the mercy of the Most High Yahweh, he cannot be moved. Psalms chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. The king, Yahweh bin Yahweh, is fairer than the children of men. Grace is being poured into his lips. Therefore, Yahweh has blessed Yahweh ben Yahweh forever. Yahweh ben Yahweh is most mighty, with his glory and his majesty. And in his majesty, he is riding prosperously because of his truth and meekness and righteousness, and because his right hand is teaching him terrible things, as written in Psalms chapter 45, verses 2 through 4. Remember that this is the morning of the third day, and I shall rise again. I am the resurrection 
is all of prophecy tells you that I shall rise again. It's all about that. Luke chapter 2, verse 34. No doubt about it. Again, I love you forever. Bless you forever. I remind you once again, my associates are children of the light. <laughs> that just brings uh, laughter to my heart, to my soul, to realize that at last, I have those of you that love peace. And I only want to be in the presence of those of you that love peace. I love you forever. Shalom Aleichem. The name of Yahweh shall be remembered throughout all generations, and the people shall praise him forever and ever. For the Messiah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, who has come in his father's name, Yahweh, is judging the lost sheep of the house of Israel and the world with righteousness. Yahweh ben Yahweh shall break into pieces the oppressors of the needy, and he shall cause all kings and all nations to fall down before him. And the dominion of Yahweh ben Yahweh shall endure forever. Thank you for joining us in the universe of Yahweh. And now we'd like to invite all of you to pray with us as we turn to the east with outstretched hands and say a prayer to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Come, let us pray. Tefillah, Ave Nu Shabbat Shemayim, Yikar Deshimeaka, Tavo Malkuteaka, Yiase Razonka, Kivashimayim Kane Baaretz, Elekum Kukenu, Tain La Nu Hayom, Uslak La Nu, Al Kati Enu, Kimosha Sol King, Gamanak Nu, La Koteim La Nu, Veal Tefi Enu, Lede Nisayom, Kim Kal Senu, Min Hara, Kilaka, Hamamlaha, Veha Givera, Veha Tiferet, Leolame, Olamin Sila. We thank thee, O Yahweh, O living and eternal King, who has so mercifully restored our souls within us. Selah. Praise Yahweh, and always remember that the Father Yahweh and His Son Yahweh bin Yahweh love you, and your host loves you too. Shalom Aleichem. To order the companion book to the series, The Messiah Revealed, call 1-800-967-PEACE. That's 1-800-967-7337. And when you call, ask about the special discount on a global call to the remnant by Yahweh ben Yahweh. Videos of this program are available. When ordering, please refer to the program number on the screen. You can now access the divine mind of Yahweh ben Yahweh on the internet at the address on the screen.